Let's bring in Congressman Devin Nunes, ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee. Congressman, you've been listening uh, to this interview uh, that just happened in El Salvador with the Attorney General. And what really catches you is what he just said about how he's gotten more questions now as the Attorney General than when he first started, saying that the questions he's asked so far, he feels the answers he's received have been inadequate. Yeah, I, I think you're right. And that's very similar to the House Republican investigation. As we continue to pull back pieces of the onion, more and more things started to fall out that we had to follow up on. You know, even today, we continue to be in need of more answers, right? So, I mean, just, just in the last few days, uh, you've, you've, we found out that there are emails uh, that involve Christopher Steele that were sitting at the FBI, at the State Department, at the Department of Justice, that were not only not given to Congress, I think every American knows out there that Congress ran an investigation. Anything involving Christopher Steele, the spy that the Clinton campaign ultimately hired, should have been given to Congress. Now, how did we just find out about this in the last few days? So, uh, and I can go on and on and take up your whole show with questions that I have, but I think what you're seeing is you're seeing a real attorney general a professional and someone who's not going to take this poisonous garbage that the Democrats and the Clinton campaign started uh, and irresponsible people in Congress and the media continue to well, we'll to put out there and poison people. We'll see what his investigation uh, turns up. But meanwhile, you did not see the attorney general shy away from that word spying, which we know was a point of contention uh, <laughs> and a point of criticism it, for many Democrats when he testified on Capitol Hill. Sandra, it's ridiculous. Every American out there knows what spying is. Uh, this is all about narrative building by the left to cover up what they did, and you have accomplices in the media. This is foolishness. And I think that's what you're seeing the attorney general do. He's just like, look, I was a, a citizen out there on the street like everybody else. I used to work at the Department of Justice. Now I'm back. I, I know what a spy is. I mean, he used to work at the CIA, for God's sakes. I mean, I've never seen such, so, something so ridiculous where, where the media is culpable for this nonsense. Everybody in the media ought to be laughing at these politicians who are talking about how, oh, my God, they're calling it spying. It's, it's a joke. It's a joke. Well, there was the who, uh, as far as questions answered by Bill Barr in that interview, in talking about... Um, him digging into exactly what happened at the origins of this Russia probe. He said right. this was handled at very senior levels. He made that point very clear at the FBI, the CIA, and other agencies that were involved, referencing yeah. an ad hoc small group of people, many of which who are not even at the agencies anymore. Yeah, and let me, and let me get to the heart of, of this problem, because I think Amer the American people are just starting to learn what this means. So when you run a counterintelligence investigation, Okay, it's very different than a criminal investigation. Counterintelligence is, is almost always used to go after foreigners that are trying to do harm to Americans or our allies. Okay, so it's, it's very rare to go after an American using counterintelligence. Okay, I mean, it's got to be something really, really high level, um, you know, possibly involving someone who's leaking to our, to our adversaries. You know, in this case, you know, we have yet, the, uh, Bill asked the question to the Attorney General uh, about what did Bob Mueller know? When did he know there was no collusion? Bob Mueller knew the day that he walked in the door, there was no evidence of the Trump campaign colluding with Russians. Think about it. We spend tens of billions of dollars, right, collecting emails, phone calls, all the things that, that people know that, that, that we have the capability uh, to do. We, we have human I, I, I don't think uh, assets all over the country. I don't think, Congressman, that he has stated that publicly, so I don't know what evidence no, you no, have no. What that. I, no, what I'm saying is, is that, that, that Mueller knew. He didn't, the Attorney General didn't answer that question, but what I'm, I'm able to answer that because, you know, we looked at all the work. We looked at all the intelligence. We've known for, you know, our report came out a, a year ago. You know, not only is there no, there's, there's, there's zero evidence of the Trump campaign colluding with Russians, yeah. period. But, and to be clear, in that interview, when Bill asked, the attorney general's answer was that um, he, he 
didn't, he could not say at what point Robert Mueller uh, made that determination. Finally, right? No, no. That's and that's my point. I just wanted to make sure that I answered it for the American people, and I think that's why the attorney general is doing a good job here. Is he's not jumping to any conclusions, fair. which is what and he should I do. Wanna, he needs to run I his own report. I want to end on this report. point yeah, because he he ended that portion of the interview just there, telling the American people why we should all be concerned. He made the point right. that even Democrats say we need to get to the bottom of foreign interference in these elections. And he finished with the point, well, we should be concerned then about our own government officials. Uh, interference yeah. in our elections. Final thoughts from you, Congressman, on uh, this one. Well, and we that's more of the interview. Yeah, that's the point of the counterintelligence investigation that American people need to understand. It's, it's only done by very few people, and it's very invasive. Uh, and there's very few people, even in Congress, that can look over this. And that's why I think the attorney general is, is trying to make that point that we need these tools. We need these counterintelligence tools, but they can't be turned against against not only the American people, but for sure shouldn't be involved in politics. If you want to go after a political campaign, go after that campaign using criminal statutes where there's a grand jury and you have to get a warrant. Jam-packed show this morning with that big interview. We appreciate your Thank time you. this morning. Thank you.